this serve, among the players I've seen, is very effective in practice, because no one has seen a serve from the back of the board. Do you want to give it a try? This serve is quite challenging. It requires you to snap your wrist at the moment of contact. Press down with your thumb. Turn the entire board upside down. We need to compress our board enough. Because our board is compressed enough, I can achieve this angle. It gives me a chance to serve from the lower side of the ball. One is that the motion is quite exaggerated, because the entire surface is facing forward. The front is the surface of the soccer ball. Suddenly it flips to the back. It creates great confusion and surprise for the opponent, making it very effective when executed. So, how good is the quality of this ball? Really? Maybe not. Many balls might just be casually spun up. I'd rather say the quality isn't high. I wouldn't just eat it directly either, but it's hard to freeze it like that. Many people approach it with past habits and suddenly feel confused. This creates psychological pressure and confusion. That's probably the main reason for this serve. I believe side spin is the main rotation for backspin serves. It's tough to press the paddle down to the lower middle when serving. But with a normal grip, it's just a side spin position. So, I think backspin serves with side spin are the dominant rotation. We can take advantage of that moment to adjust a bit upward. Then you can rub a bit in the middle. We can also push it a bit more forward. It transforms into a pure sphere. Make full use of your upper arm. Use your forearm and body strength to generate power for the ball. And as I mentioned earlier, we might generate some side spin. Our fingers and wrist might still have a bit of flexibility so we can angle it a bit upward. We can also angle it a bit more forward. There's still a little room in the wrist, so I still recommend to everyone that, if you want to practice backhand serves, focus mainly on the side topspin. This way, it will be easier to master. Firstly, the backhand serve with a straight grip is quite a unique technique. Having played for so many years, I haven't seen too many instances of it. So, if any interested players want to practice this technique, I think it's a unique and great way to quickly improve your skills. Because this serve has been very effective in practice among several players I've seen, because no one has seen it before. And then, it has a strong element of surprise, and the backhand serve is also very deceptive, including its combination with the forehand serve. Next is the left side, and one is the right side, but they all have the same direction. This way, it creates strong confusion for the opponent. Practicing any technique is a gradual process. If I don't even have the state and feel of the backhand touch, I would have to deliberately adapt it myself. In that case, how we serve might not be very good. Let's first get used to the feeling of hitting the ball with the backside. Then, we can add some spin and surprise to that serve. That way, we can achieve the desired effect. Are you going to watch the national table tennis matches?